Well, you're home early. Let me look at you. I'm fine, Mom. <laughs> you mean there was nothing to hold you up? There were no birds to watch and no lizards to catch? Where's Lassie? She's out chasing a rabbit. <laughs> well, at least one of you's running through to form. Here she is now. Lassie, I understand you prefer rabbits to dog biscuits. She doesn't eat rabbits, Mom. She just chases them. <laughs> oh, I know. You wouldn't hurt a little old rabbit now, would you? <laughs> there you are. Now you're both taken care of. Well, I've never seen her do that before. Maybe she's going to bury the biscuit like she does bones. <laughs> These are almost worn out. I meant to get you some new shoelaces. I could have asked Dad to pick some up today when he went into town with Uncle Petrie. There you are. Here's Lassie now. What's the matter, girl? You've already had your biscuit. And you ought to know better to beg. It's not polite. I think she is burying those things. She's saving them all for a rainy day. Let's give her another one, Mom, and we'll see. All right, if you insist, young lady. I won't follow her too close. I don't want to embarrass her. Oh, I see. for a rainy day? No, she was giving them to a friend. A friend? A dog friend. About so high, and he had floppy ears and yellow fur. Real fuzzy, I'll bet. With a shaggy tail, with a spot over one eye. How'd you know? Isn't he cute, Mom? <laughs> oh, yes, I say Lassie thinks so, too. Hold the door open for me, will you, while we take these clothes in? Okay. He acts as though he was starving. Lassie knew he was hungry. That's why she gave him her biscuits. Oh, he knows a soft touch when he sees one. He'll be Lassie's friend for life. If Lassie's my dog, why couldn't he be Lassie's dog? We can name him Spot. Like that name, girl? Well, I think Spot's a good name for him, Timmy, but uh, don't you think that one dog is enough around the place? But, Mom, he's too little to be left all alone in the woods. The wolves might get him, or the hawks, or even... All right, all right, all of you. We'll keep Spot, but only until we find a good home for him, okay? How about it, Lassie? Mom will find Spot a good home, and then you'll be happy. Oh, yes, I'm sure he will. All right, I'll phone Doc Weaver and see if he knows of someone. Boomer might, too. Well, now that's settled. Timmy, why don't you take your dog, and Lassie, you can take your dog, and why don't you all run out and play for a while? Okay. Come on, Lassie. Come on, Spot. Come on. If we're going to catch pollywogs, you got to sneak up on them. What was that? No, Spot, no! A 
see what you did? You scared him away. Get so dirty. Just look at his mane. Let's take him home, Lassie. Maybe Mom can find out who he belongs to. belongs to somebody. Oh, it certainly is a beautiful animal. What's the matter with Spot? Maybe he doesn't like horses. Well, I, um, I guess you better put him in the barn till Dad and Uncle Petrie get back. They'll know what to do with him. Come on, Lassie. We were so late. I was beginning to wonder. Well, we stopped over near Cal Humphrey's place to give a fellow a hand. He had a flat tire. Oh? First time I ever changed tires on a horse trailer before. A horse trailer? You know, one of those fancy outfits they used to carry horses in. He said he got the horse out so he could jack the trailer up and the crazy critter got away from him. Well, if you're, uh, if you're looking for a stray animal, you've certainly come to the right place. What do you mean? I well, supposing you follow me and see for yourselves. Dad, Uncle Petrie, doesn't he look swell, Mom? Will somebody tell me how that horse managed to get in here? Oh, don't ask me. Ask Lassie. And what is that? He's bought. It's another of Lassie's friends. He doesn't like horses. That's why he stays out there. <laughs> I see. Oh, say, Paul, maybe you better call Humphreys right away. 
That Kramer fella might still be there looking around for his horse. All right, I will. Um, you better put him in the stall, Timmy. Okay, Dad. Man. Sure is a mighty handsome animal, all right. No wonder that poor fellow was upset. Cal, this is Paul Martin. Is that fellow with the horse trailer still down in your lane? Well, uh, tell him we found his horse. Yeah, he's right here in our barn. Well, don't ask me. Ruth tells me that Lassie found him. you people for all your help. First fixing my trailer, and now catching my horse for me. Well, actually, finding your horse wasn't much of a problem, Mr. Kramer. Well, catching stray seems to be the least of our problems. Oh, yeah. this is my wife, Ruth. Oh, I'm happy to meet you, Mrs. Martin. I only hope Monarch hasn't caused you any trouble. Monarch? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> That's good. He's very high strung. As a matter of fact, there are times when he's just downright dangerous. Dangerous? Oh, Paul. Miss Martin, you better not go in there. You just let me handle him, hmm? I think you all better stand well back. I wouldn't want anybody getting hurt. Is that your boy? That's right. Please, son. Son, get away from that horse. Now, be very careful and don't excite him. But I haven't finished combing his mane. Tell your boy to do just what I say. Timmy, you heard Mr. Kramer. But I don't understand, Mom. Did I do something wrong? I only wanted to make him look pretty. I know, son, but uh, Mr. Kramer tells us that Monarch can be pretty wild at times. But he's gentle. And we're all good friends, aren't we, Lassie? Timmy, please. Mr. Kramer knows his horse a lot better than we do. Well... Okay. I guess you better come away too, Lassie. Now, please stand back. Oh. Steady, boy. Steady, boy. Steady, boy. Oh, boy. Steady, boy. stood right here and seen it with my own eyes, I... Well, I still can't believe it. I couldn't believe it when I saw your horse acting so wildly. He's been as gentle as a kitten all afternoon. Yep. Looks like all your horse has been needing, mister, is a stable mate. <laughs> Look, Mr. Martin, you name your own price. I don't care what she costs. I've got to have that dog. Well, in the first place, Mr. Kramer, Lassie isn't mine to sell. She belongs to my son. Did you hear what I said, Timmy? I'll give you anything you want for your dog. You see, Monarch's disposition is his worst enemy. 
Now, if he could go to the post quiet and rested, I don't think there'd be a race that he couldn't win. I know what you mean, Mr. Kramer. But I couldn't sell Lassie. What Timmy's trying to say is that Lassie's like part of the family. Don't think there's anything in the world you could offer that make him part with her. I understand. Well, thanks anyway for all that you have done. We'll at least be able to make the meet in time. I sure hope you win. So do I, Timmy. Steady, boy. Easy, fella. Well, thanks again. Bye. bottomless pit. All he wants to do is eat. And such a half pint, too. Must be all stomach. Well, that's our ring. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Kramer. Where? Before we ever got to Calverton. That crazy horse kicked down the tailgate, and while I'm out putting it up, he breaks loose again. I see. And well, sure, Mr. Kramer, if we hear of anything. I'll be here at the Calverton Inn for a while anyway. Sure. Good night, Mr. Kramer. Did something happen to Monarch? Mm-hmm. Broke loose again. They didn't even get as far as Calverton. <laughs> Maybe we ought to take glass and look for him. Oh, no, now, that's enough excitement for today. I think if you want to do something, you'd better take Lassie and go on and get ready for bed. Right away, Mom. Mm-hmm. I've got to take care of Spot. Whoa, now, isn't Spot supposed to be Lassie's dog? Yes. Well, then maybe Lassie should take care of him. Um, okay. Come on, Lassie. <laughs> Better locate a home for that pup soon, before he decides that he should have a dog of his own. <laughs> <laughs>
Almost as bad. He's back. That crazy critter's back. What happened? What critter? The monarch. He's in the barn. Darn near killed me. Now, what are we going to do? Well, the first thing to do is call Mr. Kramer. He's staying at the Calverton Inn. Well, then I'll do it. What's happening, Mom? Ask your Uncle Petrie. Mom said to ask you what it's all about, Uncle Petrie. Well, Monarch's back, and Uncle Petrie's got him trapped in the barn. Yeah, better than him trapping me. <laughs> I'm no stable mate for a horse. What's a stable mate, Dad? Well, a stable mate is sort of a pet, like Lassie is to you. Well, like Spot is to Lassie. Then why couldn't Spot be Monarch's pet? Well, now, that's sure an idea. That horse likes dogs. Yeah, but can you get that dog to like horses? <laughs> hey, where is Spot? Where's Spot, Lassie? <laughs> he wasn't in my room this morning. Oh, maybe he ran away. Gosh, just when he might have a home. <laughs> then you'll leave right away. Good. All right, fine. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, now, what do you want? Oh, I know. You're hungry. Well, come on, come on. He can smell that biscuit a mile off. She wants in. He's all yours, girl. What do you think of that? He sure likes to eat. Yep. Looks like Lassie's got the answer. <laughs> ah, hi. 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 Hello. This is getting to be a habit, isn't it? I wonder how long I'll be able to hold him this time. Oh, I don't think you'll have any more trouble. Oh, it won't? What do you mean? Oh. Take a look. And if you'd like to give him a good home, he's yours. For free. Hey, that little fella's gonna live like a king. As long as your horse keeps winning, you could go broke trying to feed that dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Well, again, I can't thank you folks enough for all you've done. You see, Spot was Lassie's dog. But she gave him the monarch. Because she knew he needed a stable mate. <laughs> 